What's <clears throat> man? What's up, guys? I'm gonna do this live. I was sleeping, man. Woke up out of my sleep and do this live. You're hanging out with the one and only Philly Dom out here on a late night in um Santa Domingo, Dominican Republic. Shout out to my son D3. Um It's really hard for me to communicate with some people right now. Lost my phone. Not lost my phone. It broke. It broke. It broke. I keep saying lost. My phone is broke. So if anybody trying to reach Philly Tom, just hit me up via Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, you have to contact me. Hit me up via Instagram because um, my phone is broke and I'm not at my regular residence. I'm somewhere else. So I don't have access to my other phone, which I'll have in a couple of days. So I can uh, return your messages. But, you know, hit me up via Instagram, via Facebook as well. That's the fastest way you can reach me. What's going on with you guys tonight, man? Or morning, wherever you at in the world. You're hanging out with the one and only Philly Dom. I forgot to get up, do a little uh, late night live and talk with you guys. Today, uh, we're going to talk about cutting people off. Do you think it's worth it? What happened? Oh, nothing happened, man. Just woke up, you know, out of my sleep, man. I was tired. Travel boy. Woke up out of my sleep, you know. And, you know, it's just like, I always think about, like, um, you know, I'm a nice guy. I treat everybody fair. I respect everybody. I'm always, um, you know. The friendly guy. And sometimes I feel now that I should um, cut people off. What do you guys think about that? Because everybody's not, you know, in your best benefit. And I'm getting older. And it's like, if I cannot, um, how can I say it? If I'm too old to be dealing with extra hassle, if I don't have to be in hassle with somebody. So I think it's better for me. To cut some people off. What do you guys think about that? Where did you get the name Dom from? That's my real name, Philly Dom. My real name is Dominique. And I'm from Philadelphia, so I said Philly Dom. Philly Dom. Dominique is my real name, but Philly is the city where I'm from, where I grew up at. So I call myself Philly Dom. Shout out to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, United States. Shout out to you guys. I salute you. The travel boy said, haters have been talking about you. Yeah. Travel boy said, you must be doing something right. And they never was friends in the first place. Yeah, that's how I feel. That's how I feel, man. So I feel like it's time for me to cut some people off, man. I agree with you, Philly. Yes, indeed. Carl Anderson said, what happened, Philly? No, nothing much, man. It's just, you know, as I'm, you know, getting older. I get wiser and I'm always playing the friendly guy and respect everybody and treating everybody right. I think it's time for me to cut some people off, man. Make my circle make my circle even smaller than what it is. That's all I'm saying. Because I'm older now and I feel like that if I'm dealing with people, we should be able to benefit from each other. If you out here just to be a headache and give me issues and give me problems or toxic person, I think it's better for me just to cut you, cut you off. I need less stress as possible in life. The travel boy said, Philly, you don't need to uh, extra, what is <laughs> extra headaches, especially those Philly women. Yes, indeed, man, you know it. You know it, you know it, you know it indeed. 40 Salute said, Philly Dom, hope your people's okay. And what are you doing, doing up? Man, I just couldn't sleep, man. I just couldn't sleep, you know. Had some friends over here hanging out with Derek, man. Shout out to Derek Carter. Had some friends over here, so I hung out with them today. Went to sleep, and I just got up, man. I just couldn't sleep, man. Some people can bring you down and hurt you in the long run. Yes, indeed. And the older I get, the more I realize that. The older I get, the more I realize that. Oh, man. Math wizard. 
Thank you for the 499 super chat. Appreciate you. Shout out to my boy Cheesy Sama. Sama, what's good, man? We're gonna link up. Yo, Philly, how you doing? Hope all is well. Many blessings your way. Still trying to connect. I just got to Santo Domingo from Santiago and Azul. Okay, man. We're gonna link up, man. I ain't forget you. I ain't forget you, man. There's a lot of stuff been going on. I ain't forget you, Summer. I ain't forget you, man. Palm Springs, Dominicans in the house without a doubt. Shout out to you, Summer. Was, I see you moving around too, man. Yeah, I'm in the capital right now too, man. I'm in um, San Domingo Este. At my boy Airbnb, man. Just chilling out with him, man. Jay said salute. The travel boy said those Philly women are like the cheesesteak. Tastes good, but bad for your health if you're not careful. Yes, indeed, I agree. And they don't even got to be from Philly, man. They could be anywhere in the world. So I just got to be um, just more careful with my circle, circle and stuff. I'm trying to do a lot, and I just got to surround myself about surround myself around positivity because negativity, you gain nothing from that but stress. AB54 said the Airbnb. That Airbnb like that. Yeah, it's nice, man. I'll let you see it real quick. Let you see it. Everybody else sleep. My boy sleep, man. But yeah, man, I just, you know, I love doing these lives that I can come on here and I can talk with you guys, you know, about my life, you know, just not just in my travels and stuff like that, but in general, just life, man. Um, GP said, what's going on, Dom? All is well, man. You know, just stress, you know. Just want to keep my circle circle small. You know how you wake up and you get like a little, you, I don't even know if I was dreaming or nothing like that, but you, you wake up out of your sleep and it's like, do this live. Yeah, I just got to um, cut some people off, man. Keep my circle small, man. I'm getting older and everybody's not here for my benefit. Jay said the spot is amazing. Thank you, Jay, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The travel boy said, I'm I'm on point like a sharpened pencil, kicking bars without <laughs> the instrumentals. Yes, indeed, man. Yes, indeed, man. And Howard Cooper says, salute, man. Salute to you, Howard Cooper. If anybody want to reach me, reach me via Insta, uh, Instagram. And if anybody's trying to reach me on my WhatsApp, one of my... uh. Phones are down. It's broken. I'm gonna see if I can get it fixed. If I can't get it fixed, I'm gonna just have to get another phone. But I got another number that you guys can reach me on. I know some people trying to reach me. Valerio said a couple cheese steaks and Z mouth don't hurt. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, man. You see, I got the new glasses and stuff like that, man. I feel good. I had a couple days. I ain't been in Begney Beach, a.k.a. Boca Chica, so I feel good because, I, you know, I love the capital, man. I love Santo Domingo. Next time I make my rounds back out here to the Dominican Republic, I will definitely make sure that I stay full-time in the, in, in the capital, man. I love Santo Domingo, man. I love Santiago, but I love Santo Domingo. AB54, I'm about to follow you on IG, bro. Yeah, no problem, man. I'll be slacking with my IG game, man. I gotta put more. I gotta put more videos out. Now it's gonna be a couple days. I ain't put a video because of um, I'm having problems with my one phone and my IG is connected to that that phone. But I'll figure it out, man. GP said gotta watch out for the poison peeps, man. Yes, indeed. Too many dirty people out there. Yeah, wanting to take advantage of the good people. Yeah, I'm a good person, so a lot of people try to take advantage of me, try to get over on me. You know, it don't have to be about money or nothing like that, but just just take advantage of me in any way they can, you know. And I think um, I come off with that real, what is it, um, I'm easy to get along with. And, you know, kindness, I could just say, uh, kindness. They take my kindness for weakness, man. The travel was to how do you like Santiago? More cities like, huh? Yeah, I like I like Santiago, but 
Santa Domingo is my favorite. I don't know. Even though I've been to Santiago a couple times, hung out there a little bit. Not much as I should. I need to know the city a lot more, but I hung out there a couple times. Santiago is, um, is a nice city. That's definitely my second favorite city here. Uh, what's going on here? The Travel Boy said GP exactly 100. Yes, indeed. I'm glad you guys can be up with me on this live tonight. What time is it? Dominican Republic time. What time is it right now? Let me check. Let me see what time is it. Oh, shoot. I don't even know who that is, man. This is crazy. I'm here with you guys. I'm just checking something. Okay, put that down. I'm here with you guys. I'm here. Big Gooch said, uh, cutting off the fake and trimming the grass to see the snakes is... A must shout out for the hold on, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. It's a must shout out Philly Dom from Korean Town. Shout out to Korean Town. It must shout out Philly Dom from Korean Town. Shout out to Korean Town, man. Shout out to you, big goot. Shout out to um Kev TV. My boy right there. Valerio says Santiago is a lot cheaper than Santa Domingo. Yes, indeed it is. Yes, indeed it is. You're 100 percent right about that. Once again, guys, please. If you can get a video as a like, I greatly appreciate it. Travel Boy said A B54. Follow me. Hold up. I got the hell. Other videos, especially ones on Brazil. Hold on. All right. I'm far following you, man. You got a YouTube channel? Maybe if it's, okay, oh, okay, he's telling him to follow him. JC said, hi, brother. When do you come back to our saw? We miss you. JC, I'll be back to El Salvador in a couple weeks, for sure. That's my word. Um, what's the day? August 17th. Oh, yeah, I'll be in El Salvador, man, sooner than you think. Sooner than you think, I will be in El Salvador. You'll be surprised. Um. It won't. I won't leave out of August without being in a, um being in Central America. Then I'll make my way up to El Salvador. So El Salvador will see me soon. Much love to El Salvador. I miss you guys, man. Like I said, um, Dominican Republic been good to me. Haiti's been good to me. But it's just time to uh, move on to different places and see different things, man. Uh, I feel like I overstayed my welcome here on the island. It's time for me to check out different places, man. Uh, the travel boy said, Philly Dom, you worked out today. No, I didn't work out today, man. I'm not going to lie to you. We had friends over. My friend Derek had his friends over from the Dominican public, so we was just like hosting them, hanging out with them. Didn't work out today, man. Didn't work out today. Walked around a little bit, but didn't work out today. Loyal 75, Philly Dom, salute, brother. Salute to you. Loyal, I said royal, loyal, loyal 75, salute. Cheesy Summer said, I'll contact you on IG since you don't have the phone no more. Yeah, I have the phone, Simon, man, but it just blacked out on me, man. I lost one phone in the Uber before, a couple months back. Now I get this new phone, everything perfect. I'm trying to use it, and then it just blacks out on me. The screen just blacks out, so I don't know what's going on, man. But, yeah, IG me, man. Let's keep in touch, man. You know you're my boy, man. Many blessings your way as well. And you know I want to link up with you, man. So, you know, you know what it is. You know what it is, Osama. We family, champ. We family for sure. A B, me and some of my folks coming down to DR from the DMV. Shout out to the DMV next month. Link up if you can, big bro. Yeah, but I'm more than likely. Like I keep telling you guys, I won't make it out of August without um leaving out the Dominican Republic and making my way to, uh, I'm flying to Panama and then from there I make my way up to um, El Salvador and I'm Belize to go see my son. So I'm out of here, man. 
but I'll be back in a couple months. So if I miss you guys, I apologize about that, man, from the bottom of my heart. Big Gooch said, what are your thoughts on Afghanistan? And when you say, what's my thoughts on Afghanistan? Like, would I visit the place? I would visit if they give me the visa. I would definitely go there to visit. I know it's, you know, far different from any other place I've been to. But um, I'm interested to go visit places like Afghanistan, Iraq, um, Pakistan, and places like that, India. I wouldn't have no problem going there to visit. I mean, you hear a lot of, you know, you hear like it's a, a war torn, they call it a war torn country. And, you know, you hear a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? Everybody know about the the wars and the different things over there. So it'd be interesting to, to visit there. I wouldn't stay too long, but I would definitely want to go there and check it out. The Travel Boy said, Valerio, appreciate it too. Man, I'm glad you guys are with me on this live on a late night, man. What time is it, man? What time is it here? And then Travel Boy said, Philly Dime, yes, I got a YouTube channel with Brazil videos on there. Let me let me try to do I got my iPad right here. Let's try something, man. The boy Philly Dime is real, man. A lot of people don't do this while they're on the live. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can subscribe to you right now. If I'm not already, just making sure. Yeah, I'm already. We linked up, bro. I'm on there. I'm on there. I'm with you, man. I'm with you 100%. Hold on for a second, guys. Let me um do something to this video real quick. I'm trying to monetize the video. Trying to monetize this video, man. Man, sometimes it's hard getting titles and stuff for your lives and stuff. So I just say what's on my mind. I try not to be clickbaitish, but I just you know say what's on my mind. I feel like I need to keep my circle even smaller, man. Yeah, I got your channel, Travel Boy. Clinton said, Good evening, morning. What's going on, Clinton? AB54 said, Travel ball bet. I'm following you, champ. Trying to make a trip to the favelas soon. Valerio Saddam, did you check Haiti news? Um, I'm, I just checked on my family. They all right. My family is all right. That earthquake was out of uh, southern, southern Haiti. I mean, obviously Haiti felt it, but my family is all right. But my prayers, most important, go out to the people that you know lost loved ones and. Not even if they didn't lose a loved one, a loved one is hurt or injured or something. Um, the last two days, I haven't really been checking Haitian news like that. Since I lost my phone, it's really I've been out of touch a little bit with a lot of things. I mean, I lost, but I keep saying loss. Since my phone um, blacked out. Loyal 75 said from Cartagena Airport to uh, Boca Grande, average taxi prices. I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure, man. I can't even give you one on that. It's been a while since I've been to Cartagena. And um, I forget. I forget, man. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you, man. You might want to go to one of them WhatsApp groups and ask them what the average price is. Cause you know you being a um um foreigner, man, you know they're gonna burn you with the price, man. Whatever price they get you, man, you always got to try to go twenty or thirty dollars lower than that. Cause they'll try to, you know, get you with the gringo. It shouldn't be that much, but uh, they'll try to get you with them gringo prices, man. I can't answer that one, man. I'm like, I have to do some more research and um, some due diligence on that. Um, loyal seventy five, you give me a chance, I can try to call my cousin. He go there all the time at the end, and I can ask him because he knows the ins and outs of Cartagena. The Travel Boy AB54. Favelas, I don't care about, but those casas are great. 
Sorry about that. Um, seventy-five. Sorry about that, Clinton. It would be nice to see you in another country. I'll make things more exciting. Yeah, yeah, I'm out of here, man. My days are numbered. My days are numbered down in the in the Dominican Republic. My days are numbered for sure. My days are numbered. I'm rolling to the next place. Oh, excuse me. They say on to the next. And Rick said, I hope you consider me not only as a friend, but as family. Rick, I consider you know you family, champ. You know you family. Rick, come on, man. How you going to come at me like that, Rick? You know you family. Uh, G said, good morning. Nice to see you progress and travel tours. Thank you, man. Math Wizard said, well, uh, Taliban, oh, Taliban has taken over. I don't think you want to visit Afghanistan right now. Yeah, I know it's always ongoing issues and problems there. So they took over the, the Taliban, took over the whole country. Maybe I'll go over there and talk some sense into them. G said, continuous blessings on you, Philly. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, appreciate it. 40 said, have you ever been to Honduras? Yes, I've been to Honduras. Honduras is right next to uh, um, El Salvador, yes. I will definitely try to take a trip to the capital of Honduras. I can't say the name to save my life. It's like one of the longest capital names I've ever seen. Yeah, it's only like a couple hours, I don't know, three, two to three hours, two or three hours away. But I'll definitely um, go to um and doors while I'm there. Paul said, hi, long time subscriber, love your channel. Paul, thank you so much, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See the, the sun, the, the new glasses, man, since the girl took my other glasses, man. I try to keep my face out of Boca Chica as much as I can now. Yeah, I only got a couple days left. Any day now, I could leave. You guys will know I'll do a live and let you guys know what's going on, but any day now, I can leave, man. Any day now, I can leave. Jose said, Mr. Don, what's popping? And all is well, man. Just talking to you guys on this late night. What time is it in the Dominican Republic? Wait, hold on, let me see. I think I got like a little headache, man. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, it's 325? Am I? Am I? 325 a.m., wow. Wow, wow, wow. We're doing it on the late night. Mr. Abdul, I just call you Vlogs. Vlogs said, Abdi, Vlogs said, uh, Philly Dom, how are you doing today? I am new. I'm, I'm, I'm a new blogger. I still remember you, Journey journey and YouTube. Now I need, need your help. I just need to get 1K. I help you, man. Let me, um, Maybe I should do that on my channel. Try to highlight all new YouTubers, man. Do some kind of live with them. Just to highlight them. Let me check your channel, man. See, I got my iPad here. Hold on. Let me check your channel, man. Man, once again, guys, if you can get a video like, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget me on Cash App, man. Cash App, the one and only Philly Dom. I would greatly, 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 greatly appreciate that. Yeah, hold on, man. I'm, I'm going to try to describe to you now. But man, because I was, it was tough for me, man. I didn't have an easy walk with YouTube, man. I earned everything I, I, I did thus far on YouTube. Even though people think all sorts of bad stuff about me. Like I bought my subscribers. They say this. Oh, I see you. I see you. You got nine. I don't make sure this is you. I just described. Is that you? Vlogs, I see you. What you need to do, man, vlogs, I can give you my advice, man. I'll give you my advice, man. 
I'm not the best at this. I'm not the best at editing. I'm not the best at talking in front of the uh, camera and different things like that. But what can separate you from a lot of people, if this is your passion, this is your love, and you really want to do this, and you want to succeed at doing this, you have to be consistent, man. I would tell you to post, 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 post. Post many videos you can. Talk in front of the camera as much as you can. Interview all your friends. Interview all your family. Talk to people around you. Make sure that you have a niche or um, the topics you talk about with stuff that you're passionate about. Obviously, everybody knows Philly Dom is a travel vlogger. So my content is based around travel. It's a, a new, I'm unique with my travel, travel vlogging. It's a little different from other people. I try to make it real as authentic as possible to make you feel like that you're there. But it took me a while to get to that point. But I try to do videos to show you guys, you know, what, what you expect if you travel in this country, how the local people act, um, how to get to the bars, the restaurants, the movies, the churches, the uh, museums, uh, I don't know, any any special exhibit or things that they have that, you know, separates this country from the next. But, yeah, keep pushing, man. Uh, Mr. Abidi Vlogs, keep pushing, man. Keep grinding, man. Shout out to you, man. Sorry about butchering your name. I always feel like I can't read half of the time, man. I'm butchering everybody name. Ozzy said, nice to catch you live. Jock and Rich were live a couple of days ago. I know. I saw, man. I wish I could have been right there when they had the live, man. Well, shout out to Jock and Richard, the world traveler, a.k.a. Richard Travels. And Jen, um, Jock. Jock Wilkins official. Yeah, Jock is pushing. He grinding, man. Shout out to Jock Wilkins. MD said, um, CNN News is showing some heart. Felt stuff on Haiti, yeah, man. Haiti never catch a break, man. Haiti never catch a break, man. I don't know what it's going to take for something to change in Haiti, man, but it, it's, it's out of control. Loyal 75 said, that's what's up, brother. I appreciate it. Yes, indeed, man. No problem, man. I'm here to support you guys, man. We're a family. We're a community. We're a team. We help each other, man. It's not you guys just help me and stuff like that. But we help each other, man. Once again, we got 28 people watching. We got 16 likes. If you guys can give the video a like, I would greatly, 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 greatly appreciate it. AB54 said, why are you leaving the DR? Man, it's just time to move on to different places, man. I've, I've, I've overstayed my welcome here. You know, it's time for me to go somewhere else and appreciate with that country and place after argue. Shout out to El Salvador, man. Shout out to Panama. Shout out to Costa Rica. Shout out to Nicaragua. Shout out to El Salvador. Shout out to Belize. Shout out to Guatemala. Shout out to Honduras. I'll be moving through like the wind. Rick said, can you all please give some likes there? Thanks, Rick, man. Boom. Uh, Howard Cooper said, hit Belize by October. Haven't been there yet. Um, Howard Cooper, more than likely, we probably link up in Belize. I'll be there. Paul said, three, oh, yeah, 325 a.m. Thanks. And um, the uh, Mighty Mighty DR. Jose said, where's Derek, a.k.a. MVP? Uh, Derek is sleep, man. You know, it's late night. Derek is knocked out. He's sleep, man. He might come up, man. He, you know, he works a lot, man, back home in his hometown. So he don't sleep that much. So he's right. He's truly on a vacation. Then Paul said, Dominican women are good. Yes, indeed. Paul said, watching from Phoenix, Arizona. Shout out to you, Paul. My boy, Rick. My family, Rick. He out there in Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona. Just stretching up a little bit, guys. Oh, man. Your boy Philly Dom is on here on the couch, man. Relaxing and maxing with you guys. That's where I'm sleeping at tonight on the couch. I'm the couch YouTuber. Wherever I go, I sleep on the couch. Uh, G said my name is um, Sin. Please teach me again the steps to send a contribution now. You can send if you, G, if you want to help me in any way. You can send via, um, what you call it, uh, 
via uh, Cash App or PayPal. If you go to one of my videos, one of my uh, edited videos, you go there and you can look in the description section and you can send. I can give you, let me put my Cash App on there. Hold on. Hold on for a second. Um, a lot of people send me via Cash App. Okay. Cash App, uh, the money sign, Philly, um, 75. Or you can super chat me, but Cash App is the best way. And I got PayPal as well. Thank you for the support, man. Because we're on a roll, man. Everything helps, man. Everything helps, man. Appreciate you guys. Clint said, yeah, he sure brunched my name every time. Lots of laughs. Butcher, yeah, I butcher your name. Yeah, I do, man. Um, Paul, are you from Africa? Jose said, Paul, are you from Africa? And then Paul said, I want to visit Republic Dominican. Republic, and that'd be a good place to visit. Ozzy said, I didn't know you went to school with Kevin Hart. Yeah, I went to school with him, man. I didn't know him like that. I ain't know him. I'm not going to sit here on this live and tell you he was my, my friend like that, but we had mutual friends there. And he remember he was just Kevin. He wasn't Hart then. Nobody knew him as the, you know, the mega star he is now. So it was just like going to school with a regular person, but um, he was just Kevin. But I had some friends, you know, they tried to jog my memory. High school been a while ago. He tried to jog my memory. Like, remember this one day we were in the cafeteria? Remember this day at George Washington? Remember this? And they tried to jog my memory. But yeah, I, I, I've interacted with him when I was in high school, but I didn't know him like that. I didn't know him. I'll be lying to you if I said, my, I got mutual friends that know him, but I didn't know him like that. Um, Vlog said, I want to move El. Uh, well, Tungo, El, okay, El Tunca, Tunca, El Tunca, El Salvador. Tell me your experience. Is it possible to get to get tourist girls? Like, yeah, yeah, it's possible. It's possible. On um, vlogs, man, the people in El Salvador are very friendly, outgoing. It's easy to talk to females there. It's easy to talk with the guys there. It's easy to make friends there. The people are some of the friendliest and welcoming people I ever met in my life, man. El Salvador is on low key is a jewel. El Salvador is a jewel, man. A lot of people sleep on it, man. Thank you guys for the likes. A lot of people sleep on it. A lot of people sleep on El Salvador. A lot of people sleep on El Salvador. Ozzy said, and you did track and fill. Yes, I did. I did do track and fill, but Man, guys, don't sleep on El Salvador. Don't sleep on El Salvador. Mr. Lee said, where's the next, where's next on map? Colombia? No, Panama. Panama is next on my on my list. Panama, Panama. Chill Town Major said, what? Oh, that's what's up. Shout out to Chill Town Major. What about going to Dubai? Um. It's not on the list right this second, man. But, you know, nothing is off the list either, man. I'm like, uh, what is it, Passport Action Set, man. I'm willing to travel anywhere. Nothing's off the list. Nothing off the list. Shout out to my boy, Alaska Pat, man. Shout out to him as well. Jamaica first said, good morning, Mr. Philly. How are you doing? All is well, man. All is well with me, champ. All is well. What's going on with you guys? And Mr. Lee said you need a bed and a lady. <laughs> Mr. Lee, you crazy, man. Jamaica first. Good morning, Philly. How are you going? How was it? You know, I'm doing good, man. Jamaica first. I'm glad you could be in alive. What's going on with you, Jamaica first? Talk to me, man. You my boy, man. What's going on with you, Jamaica first? Remez said, uh, T wanna be discriminating on their own people for years. Now they be um, ramping it up on any tourists stealing, yeah, money. Yeah, they do, man. 
They do, man. You got to be on point, man. When you in, um, you got to be on point when you in Tijuana, man. It's a nice place to party, hang out, get some good food. Cause people always know see Tijuana about the strip clubs and the nightlife. But one thing I can tell you for me living in Tijuana and hanging out there so much, man, they have some good tacos, man. They got good food there, man. You can't go wrong with the food in um Tijuana. Vlad said, thank you so much, Philly Dom. I really appreciate the support. You are my favorite YouTuber. Love to meet you one day. Vlad, we'll link up one of these days soon, man. I'm on my way to Africa. Where are you from exactly? Vlad, I know you're from Africa, but where are you from in Africa, man? Love, freedom, man. Thank you, man. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I hope you in any way I can. If you hit me up via Instagram, you know, shout out to I Am Myra, man. He put me in a YouTube game man a travel game and um i really appreciate him shout out to his sister d his brother um davy jr check out their channels man d Mungie, man check them out man they my people man they are my people man i love freedom says salute my brother mr lee said al salvador has one of the highest crime rates in latin america it could be man but um i stay in one of the most touristy areas there called um Zona, what is it? Uh, Zona Rosa. It's a nice little area there, man. It's a nice little area there, there in Santa, not Santa Maria, um, San Salvador. Very cool people, very cool vibe. But I mean, they could have their crime and stuff, but they have a president now that's trying to change it and trying to push the country in a, a different direction. And he's trying, you know what I mean? He's not perfect, he, but he's trying to put the country in a better um, direction. Young president doing his thing over there. And Clinton, Clinton said, I'm the same way. I travel anywhere. Just some some countries have to wait until it's safe. Yeah. And if I have more money, people, man, I ain't going to lie. Once my money get a lot stronger, I'll go anywhere, man. I would try to travel anywhere. I'm just like, um, how could you say it? I'm limited to where I can go due to my financial situation. Not a YouTuber ain't going to tell you that. They'll act like they're Jay-Z or, or Drake and they got all this money. Or some movie star, but my money is not super strong like that. But shout out to um, shout out to my boy Alaska Pat. He gave me some breathing room. Shout out to him. Rhea said, "At least you live, live a fun life, traveling. Yes, indeed, learning new cultures, meeting new people. Some people never ever leave their city, living boring life. You're 100 percent right about that, Glenn. You're 100 percent right about that." Uh, GP says sending good, sending good, sending good San Diego energy your way, bro, man. Shout out to San Diego, California, man. That is my favorite city in the whole United States, man. Missing San Diego, California, man. Sometimes I miss it, man. I feel like jumping on a plane and going to San Diego, California. A lot of people when they travel ain't gonna tell you they want to come back to the U.S., but I miss San Diego. Sometimes you don't know how much you love places. Until you're gone, then you're not there, man. You know, I'll be on the road all the time, man. But shout out to San Diego, California, man. Much love to San Diego, California, IA, man. That's my people. I love that place, man. Haitian gunman. What's up, Philly? All is well, man. All is well, man. All is well, all is well, man. I was just talking earlier about cutting people off and just keeping my circle tighter as I get older. You know, I try to focus on stuff that's important. And I don't want to, you know, be around negative energy or negative people, man. So I try to keep my circle small as possible and be around positive people. Because I want to get all I can from life. I don't want to just be around people that is not helping or I'm not helping them, you know, go to the next level and whatever they want to do. You know, it don't have to be about travel. It could be work. It could just be about life. Vlog said, Philly Dom, the place encourages you is Guada, what, what's his name? Guadalajara. Guadalajara, Mexico, especially Alisco. That is found beautiful chicks. Go there and see. Yeah, I know. I've been there, vlogs. I've been there. I've been there. I actually got a cousin that's living there right now as we speak from Haiti. He actually lives there. Shout out to Zazane. Yeah, but I've been there, but I never um, YouTube there. But I definitely start going there. Ozzy said, yeah, I'm focused on getting my money up right now. I hear you on that, man. 
And Mr. Lee said, Philly Dom, with all the traveling, are you vaccinated or you're not for the vax? I mean, so um, eventually I'm probably going to have to get it because that's just the, I don't want to say it's the new world order, but um, I feel at a time if you're not vaccinated, they're going to try to, they're going to try to limit you where you can travel and stuff like that. And since this is my job traveling, eventually I will get it. But right now I'm not vaccinated. I'm not vaccinated right now while we speak at this moment. No, I'm not vaccinated, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it, man. Because I am, you know, coming in contact with a lot of people from different countries and stuff like that. But um, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You said, how many countries have you traveled to? I've been to like 20, 20, 20 something countries. Around 20, maybe a little bit more than 20. Yeah. But this year coming up, man, next year, I mean, I'll really be going through a lot of countries. Because right now I'm just repeating countries I've been to when, when I fly to Panama and stuff like that. Shout out to Haitian gunmen, man. Shout out for the super chat, man. Somebody match me or better. Let's support the kid. Thank you, man. Thank you for the 9.99 super chat. Thank you so much, Haitian gunman. Thank you so much, man. Salute to you, man. Thank you for the super chat, man. With the sunglasses and all. Yeah, and Clinton says, same here, man. Same here. But it's about to explode. By next year, it's explode. I'll be at, I'll be going to a lot of different countries, man. With me, like I said, with me, it's just I need my finances to be a little strong. It's not that I'm scared to go anywhere, go here, there. It's just when you travel, it's I'm, I'm out. The way I travel is pretty cheap, so not expensive. But you know, I do have a son to take care of, and I got some other you know you know obligations back home in the states as well. So. The money that I do make gets stretched. So when my money gets a little stronger, I'll be traveling a lot more. You'll know. You'll see the difference when I just really just start going a lot more places. That's the only thing. Finances are slowing me down just a little bit. But the channel is getting stronger. Everything is working out. Once again, Haitian Gunman, thank you for the nine ninety nine. dollars um, Shout out to Alaska Pat. He helped me out a lot tremendously. He helped me out. <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Excuse me. So. Everything's working out like it should, man. I just got to keep my focus. Like I said, be around positive people, be around positive energy, and um, cut some people off. Just keep my circle small and just be around some positive vibes. You know what I mean? Especially when you travel like I travel. I didn't know you had a kid. Yeah, I have one kid. I have a son. That's why I'm going to uh, Central America to go see him. Ozzy said, yeah, Ozzy, yeah. I have a son. He's six years old. Philly Dom Jr. 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 Yeah, Philly Dom Jr. 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 Going to go see him, man. Going to go check on him, man. He is half Latino. I get if you consider um if you consider uh people from Belize to be Latino, which they are, yeah, I would say that. Yes. Yes, indeed. I would say that. Yeah, his mom is um from um, Belize. Darius Green said, "Good morning, Philly Dom. How's everything? All is well, man. All is well, man. Just out here in the struggle, man. Maxing and relaxing. And um, the Dominican Republic, man. You know my days are limited here, man. I'm on my way to uh, Panama, man. Go check out uh, another country, man. Darius Green, yeah, man. My Philly brother. Definitely, I'm leaving out here in a little bit." I got to wait a week, week and a half. It won't be, I won't leave August without coming out here. Mr. Lee, man, I support you, brother. You a good brother. Lee from London. Thank you so much, London, man. London Lee, Mr. Lee from London. Thank you. Thank you for the $10 euro. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. Ozzy said, are Belizean people Latino or mixed? Um, some are Latino, some are like mixed. They they Belizeans is like all over the place. Some of them are, you know, look got that Latino look. Some of them have they look like me, they like black people from the States or Africa or something like that. They're all mixed up, man. They're all some of them look Indian. 
You know, they got a Chinese element down there. Some of them got the Chinese element. So they all mixed up down there, man. So, yeah. And, yeah, they speak English. Yes, they do the official language of Belize. Belize is the only country in Central America that their official language is English. The only country that their official language is English, yes. The only country with their official language being um, English. Damn, that's dope. I might have to visit. Yeah, I'll do some videos there, man, so you guys can see it, man. Belize is really untapped. A lot of YouTubers don't go there like that. They go, but not a lot, man. Rima has said, England and Italian had a big influence on Central America. Oh, England and Italian. It, Italians had a big influence. Okay. Ridge said, Ridgely said, hi, boss man, looking good. I'm back in Pennsylvania from Washington. Work most, work most, uh, most, uh, with season made good money going back for crab in December. That's what's up, man. You was working up there in Alaska too, man. And that seafood industry, man. Shout out to you, man. What company did you work with, man? What company was you working with out there? Who'd you work with? Ridgely, who'd you work with, man? Shout out to the people working out there in Alaska and the seafood industry. Shout out to you guys, man. That job made me. Clinton said, how expensive is it compared to DR and the U.S.? Well, Belize is definitely a little cheaper than the DR. DR is kind of pricey, man. Belize is expensive, but not expensive because you know they 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 were they are about they um how can I say the word man? Sometimes I get all I gotta talk slow because I just talk too much and I my words can't catch up what I want to say. Um, Belize um tourism is their main source of uh, revenue for the country, so everything is based around tourism. But yeah, to me, it's slightly less expensive than um. The Dominican Republic, Dominican Republic is definitely more expensive. And it's not as expensive as the States, man. Ozzy said, yeah, I haven't seen any YouTuber with videos in Belize. It's all about Mexico, DR, Colombia, Brazil. Yeah, I'll be there, man. I'll put some videos out there, man, so you guys see what's going on. Haitian government said, where are you at right now? What country? Haitian government, I'm in the Dominican Republic right now, Santo Domingo. A couple more days, man, I'll be flying to... Uh, Panama. I won't be here much longer. Clinton Town said Haitians should be considered Latinos too because it was the first Latin American country. Yes, indeed. They are considered. If you Google it, it they'll pop up as that. Reggie says small local um, processor. That's all right, man. That's what's up. And Green said, is the weather bad out there? As I'm, I'm hearing... Um, it's a little cloudy. It's been cloudy green, man. But, um, it ain't a couple days ago. It was bad, man. We were like literally stuck in the house for like two days, man. It would just rain on top of rain, rain on top of rain. I literally rained for two days. It's my allergies acting up. It's on rain on top of rain, rain on top of rain, man. It was raining like literally for like two days straight, man. Like nonstop, yo, nonstop, nonstop. So the weather ain't been the best weather, but I mean, the other day we went out, me and uh, Derek, Derek Carter hung out. So it, it's bad, but it's not as bad as you think it is. And Clinton said, I found Panama to be a little expensive. Yeah, Panama is definitely expensive, guys. A few things were cheaper, but it was way more than I thought should be. Yeah, no, Panama is America. Panama and um, Costa Rica is America. Them two places are America. Them two places are America, man. They're expensive. Rema has said the there's some hot Latins from DR. Yes, indeed, they do have some beautiful women here in the DR. 100. percent The vlog said Panama. I think is quite expensive, but I think your manners. Yeah, I've been there before. These countries I've been to, I've been there before. I won't start really traveling until I go to Africa. 
Because I'm even you know, that's better be you know, conquering new territory, new places. When I'm flying to Panama, I've been to Panama a couple times, man. And I've been all through Central America. I've been to every country. I've been to every country in Central America. My least favorite country in Central America is Guatemala. Some people, my buddy said that's his favorite country. My boy, Tim, said that's his favorite country. But um, I've been to every country in Central America, man. Every country. Every country in Central America. El Salvador is my favorite. And it's like, you know, people are like, why, why is El Salvador your favorite? The people, man, the vibes, they miss me. People coming on live telling me when I'm coming back to El Salvador. They never turn their back on me. They never forgot about me, man. Shout out to El Salvador, man. Shout out to El Salvador, man. Clinton said, so many places I wanted to go. Just money and time. Yeah, me too. It's just the, me, it's just the money. I got the time now, the way my job works, you know, at a flexibility because I'm doing these, you know, lives and doing these videos. But um, I have the time. I just got to get my money stronger, man. I always talk about that. Just get my money stronger so I'll be able to travel, man. You know, to you know further destinations for longer periods of time. I can't say longer periods of time, but my money traveling so I can hit more destinations, more places. Because I don't know if you guys notice, everywhere I travel now, I just sit. I go to one country and I sit there for a while. Oh, excuse me, guys. But um, I'm definitely going to be making some moves in, um, in Central America. So look out for them videos, man. Clinton said, so many places I want to go. I hear you, Clinton. Man, once again, we got 35 people watching. Please get a video like I'm coming to you live from Santo Domingo Este and Santo Domingo Dominican Republic. Let you see the Airbnb right here on the couch. Look at this. Your boy Philly Dom on the couch. Where I'm at right here. Let you see, man. Let you guys see where I'm at. Um, Hey, Sagama said, why Guatemala your least favorite? The people. When I travel somewhere, Haitian gunman, it's the people, guys. Also, I'm talking to the guys in, in the live. When I travel somewhere, it's all about the vibe. It's all about the people. The people from Guatemala, they come off, not Guatemala, um, what's the, um, yeah, is it Guatemala? No. He's going to say, why Guatemala least favorite? No, not Guatemala. Why, um, man, what country is it, man? You got Costa Rica, you got Panama, Nicaragua, Nicaragua. Nicaragua is my least favorite. But some people say that's their favorite. I got a friend named Tim, Jersey Tim. He said that's his favorite country. So it all depends on how you feel about a place. But I just, I don't know, man. Just, uh, I don't know, man. Um, the people just rub me the wrong way there. I have some good friends, some Nicaraguan friends. I just talked to one of them. One of them is getting over the COVID. She's in Florida right now. So I have people that I know from Nicaragua, but. Overall, my favorite isn't my least favorite place in Central America. It's just my opinion. Everybody entitled to their opinion. Ridgely said, nice place. Thanks, man. Um, Clinton said, just curious, why do you travel to DR more than El Salvador? Well, you know, it was the pandemic. You know, my family's from Haiti. So I ended up doing a long sting, stay in Haiti, like seven months. Then I came to DR for seven months. I went back to the States for two months. And then my cousin Jack Wilkins was doing a music video out here. He asked me to be in a music video. So then I came back to the Dominican Republic. That's why I'm back here. So when I came back, I was like, I might as well stay here for a couple months and get footage and do some things in the Dominican Republic. But um, after this, um, I'm going. I'll be off the island for a while. Because I said, uh, yeah, but outside, I definitely, I'll be sitting there for a while because it's very strategically close to where my son is at. So I can have time to spend with him or just be in an area where he's at. Rizzy said, much better than bunkhouses or tents. <laughs> Lots of laughs, Wrigley. Yeah, you're right, man. You're right, man. You're right about that, Wrigley. Bringing back memories. And Wrigley, you know, I didn't work in Alaska since uh, 2019, September, because I worked that season. And then um, I ended up going to... 
I worked that season and then I ended up going to Haiti. I went to El Salvador first and some other countries. Then I ended up going to Haiti. Then the pandemic hit 2020. So I was stuck in um stuck in um I was stuck in uh Haiti. And um that's when I started doing these videos full time, man. Cause I needed to make some money, I needed to survive and stuff like that. And I was like, dang, I could really live off of this working off of YouTube. So man, it's been two years, man. But uh, yeah, I miss it, man. I miss the people. I miss the uh, the vibes in, in Alaska, man. It's definitely a cool place. Philly time. I could definitely live in Alaska with no problem. I could live in Alaska. I mean, obviously, I live there, working there, but I can, you know, have that as my permanent resident with no problem. Uh, Ozzy said, one of my best friends from high school from Nicaragua maybe is different in the country. Yeah, because like I said, I, 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 I I've uh, lived in Miami and I've hung around um, people from Nicaragua and they've been excellent people. Maybe it's just the country or maybe because I was just in uh, Managua. You know, maybe I, I needed to be, you know, another part of uh, Nicaragua. Um, the Travel Boy said, I love Haitian food, man. I love Haitian food too, man. I grew up on that, man. I grew up on Haitian food. And the Travel Boy said, I know D. John, D. John. Yes, indeed, D. John. I love D. John. D. John. Haitian food to the world, you know it. Haitian gunman said, "What Latin countries you face the most discrimination or racism?" Now, man, this is this is. I'm gonna really floor you guys with this. I'm gonna really fool you guys with this. You ready for this? El Salvador. And I don't consider it to be a racist country or anything. But um, me and my boy Justin, he's traveling right now. I think he's in, um, where the heck is Justin at? He's in Culiacan, Sinaloa, Mexico. Me and him went there, and um, we were hanging out one night. Um, and uh, what's, what's it called? What's the area called, man? El Tunca. El Tunca Beach. not too far. Maybe like 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 40 minutes. From um Santa well El Salvador San Salvador, which is the capital. We hanging out there having a good time and um met some people out there that can speak English and stuff like that. Hung out with them, kicked it with them, you know, party with them a little bit. And uh when my friend got into he didn't really get into a discussion, man. Wait till we had to leave and they wanted us to stay longer, and it was like late. And they were worrying about us taking an Uber back late night and all. It was like, you know, you know, you drink and you party, have a good time. So everybody feelings and emotions is high. And uh, one of the guys there um, called us uh, the N word. He said, "You and you and guys don't listen. You and guys never listen." So that was, um, you know, that was uh, you know a racist comment he said towards us. But um, I can't blame it on El Salvador because the guy that used the N-word, he was deported. He's El Salvadorian, obviously, but he used to live in the States most of his life, and then he got deported. I think he was in his 30s, and he got deported. So anybody that comes to the States, man, you sort of get tainted. They make you pick and choose races and stuff in the States. And I notice when you're in other countries like the Dominican Republic and other places, race is not as important. Even I'm tainted because I grew up in the States. And racism is like a big deal to us, like you know what I mean. But countries like the Dominican Republic, you'll see like a white person with a black person, even though they do have their their discrimination. Because I feel not everybody in the Dominican Republic, because it's cool people here, but some people um do discriminate against the uh, the Haitians. And I and when I say they discriminate against them, I'm gonna say I think it's more of a classism in the Dominican Republic than racism. It's more like a classism. Like if I, if I'm wealthier than you, or if I dress better than you, I'm gonna look down on you. Because if you're here in the Dominican Republic and you dress nice and you're wealthy, and if, even if you are black, people will show you respect and stuff like that. So, you know, this racism is some deep, deep rooted stuff. But uh, yeah, El Salvador, that's my favorite country. El Salvador. Yeah, I was called the N word there, man. But I mean, that's still my favorite country in all of uh, Central America, man. But um. I mean, it happens, like I said, a person um, used to live in the States, they deported, 
so that you know they might feel bad they can't go back to the states they see us moving around we can travel and stuff people sometimes hold grudges against you for something you don't even have control over but that was it like i said he was but after that no real problem g said uh sock pot effect but what is the airbnb connect um i'm gonna have to find the information for you man because Derek got this. Derek Carter, my boy, he got the Airbnb, so he knows it. But if you check in the description of one of my last videos, live videos, that video with the girl with the pink, uh, Valentina, she has that pink uh, dress on. If you check in the description, I got some information about the uh, Airbnb. Okay. Uh the travel boy said, I know a white woman talk trash about black guys not knowing my mom is black. Wow. Interesting. Vallejo said, Dom, did you get to Duarte Plaza? No, not yet. Oh, that day? If it was in Duarte, yeah, we had a couple shops in Duarte with um Sabrina and a YouTuber. The travel boy said, what part of El Salvador do you suggest visiting? Can you visit El Salvador now? Yeah, yes, you can visit El Salvador now. If I was you and your first time going, just my opinion, just my opinion, I would go to um, San Salvador, San Salvador, which is the capital, and I would stay in an area called the Zona Zona Rosa. Real nice, upscale area. El Salvador is very cheap on the pocket, so you ain't going to break your, your back spending money there, man. Everything is affordable. Everything is at respectable prices. And you can go there now. It's a YouTuber friend I have there. He's there all the time. JC Max, check his videos out. JC Max, check him out, man. He's doing his thing. Clinton said, when I was in Brazil, I had a couple of people ask me if I considered myself white or black. I know I'm light skinned, but I thought that was weird. Yeah, some people, you know, ask you, you know, they on that race stuff, so they'll ask you. The travel boy said they think they think I'm Italian, Mexican, or Puerto Rican. Yeah, I know how they go, man, because if you got that certain look, man, they'll think you something else. Yeah, I know what you mean, travel boy. Ozzy said, where do the white woman talk trash? Travel boy. The travel boy said, Ozzy Oz, said, North Carolina. And then travel boy said, uh, do they do they get good beat? Do they have good beaches? What months are good to go? Obviously, summertime will be better, like around this time, but you can go any year around there in El Salvador. But you want to go probably like, I don't know, May, June, July, August, September. They probably the best months to go there to El Salvador. I've been El Salvador every month, every season. I was there for Christmas. Uh, I was there for Christmas 2019. Uh, last year, I was in um, the Dominican Republic for Christmas. So, you know, it was all cool vibes. The travel boy said, Ozzy, they have dirty habits, which make me leave them alone. Wow. I hear you guys. Once again, guys, if you can get a video like, get a video like. And also, don't forget, I got Cash App there. Excuse me, guys, if you want to Cash App your boy Philly Dom to support his uh, travel adventures. He's a complexion for protection. <laughs> and then, um, uh, with Valerie, I mean, uh, Valerio said, Dom, if both or Dominican don't matter, I would say 95% the color. I hear you, man. Ozzy said, white people always talk ish behind others' backs. So much hate, travel boy. And then travel boy said, so I should go to El Salvador, capital, yes. I'm going to follow you on IG, check you, check your DM. No problem, champ, no problem, yeah. I'll be there in a couple of weeks, so I mean, you can get the blueprint from me, man. 
I have a good, 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 good friend here in um El Salvador, man. She knows the ins and outs, outs and ends of the country, yo, man. Cheesy Sama, man. Straight up, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He said, everyone like and subscribe. That's my boy. That's my Dominican boy right there. Sama, man. Shout out to you, Sama, man. Appreciate you, man. Uh, Travel Boy said, Jay, I have to because it has benefits. <laughs> That's all right, man. That's all right. Um, Travel Boy said they got some nice mangoes there. Yes, indeed. We talking about El Salvador. El Salvador is litty, man. El Salvador is litty, man. Like I said, it's the most friendly, is welcoming place I've been to, man. They really trying to clean up their image, man. The El Salvadoran people are really down to earth, cool, 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 amazing people, man. Right, man. What you saying? It doesn't stop this BS, right? I hear you. The clinic said that was fourteen good. She must be. That was 14 good. She must be a good friend. Lots of laughs. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. It's a cool live, man. It's a good live, man. It's a good live. It's a good live. I'm glad I woke up and went live with you guys, man. You know, man, sometimes, like I said before, it's hard to come up with these titles, man. What you want to say so i just try to talk from the heart i just feel like i gotta keep my circle smaller man and be around positive energy i like my boy um Simon, man positive brother man doing his thing he's a rapper man support the brother check him out on um ig man cheesy samba check him out on ig man that's my boy 100 shout out to you cheesy samba shout out to you my brother uh travel boy said oh stuff i might have to go to el salvador and leave mexico for october or november yeah it's worth checking it out man i'm telling you man travel boy said i appreciate you appreciate your advice big homie no problem man i'm here for the people to travel people the regular people whoever people i'm here for you guys clint said did something happen this week with fake friends uh no man it's just you know you know how you feel stuff it just i feel like i just need to keep my circle small because you know i'm getting older what age comes wisdom with well, some people not everybody it comes wisdom and it just i just want to be around positive people more positive vibes because i feel if you're around positive people or people that's doing stuff better stuff will happen to you if you're around negative people you know what i mean it was a saying is uh what is it I show me your company you're around and I can tell you what type of person you are. So um I just try to keep my circle smaller. Travel boy, once again, thank you for the $5 super chat. I greatly appreciate you, man. On this late, 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 early morning in the Dominican Republic, man. Uh hold on, let me see what's going on here. Four eleven, man. That's all right. The travel boys at Philly motivated me to go into work tomorrow for the, that OT, so I can head to El Salvador. Yeah, go for that OT, man. Put more money in your bank account, man. Clinton said I agree. Travel boys said I'll probably be there from Monday to Thursday. That's cool. Yes, indeed, champ. Mister Lee said uh, El Salvador. Do they speak much English? You're fluent in speaking Spanish, Philly. No, my Spanish is like, I won't say zero, but it's not that good, but I understand a lot. Um, a lot of people in the capital, in El Salvador, it's a big deal if you can speak English because you can get good jobs in call centers and stuff like that. So not everybody, but a lot of El Salvadorians, enough, uh, a nice little number of El Salvadorians speak uh a, a, a nice, 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 nice number of Salvadorians speak uh, English. English is like a big deal. It's like bragging rights. 
that you the man, you know, you cool, you know what's going on. So a lot of El Salvadorians take pride in speaking English. It's like that in uh, Honduras too. In the capital area, a lot of people speak English there and they're proud that they can speak English and stuff like that. So it's like a big deal for you to know English. So you're like a cool person if you can speak English. So a lot of um, El Salvadorians and people from Honduras like to know, like, you know, make sure they know English. Because, you know, my little crew that I hang with down in El Salvador, they all speak English and stuff like that. Shout out to my boy Flex. I mean, Lex. Shout out to my boy Flex, man. He out there, man, and I'll talk it, man. I'll be happy to see him, man. I ain't seen him in a while, man. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to you, shout out to you, shout out to you, man. It's cracking my, my back and stuff like that. Yeah, we've been alive. One hour, 10 minutes, man. We doing our thing, man. I'm glad I could be up in the early morning and talk with you guys, man. About travel, talk about life. Um, you know, keeping my circle small, cutting people off, just trying to be around positive energy, positive, positive, positive energy. Because I feel if you put yourself around positive people, positive things will happen and better things will happen for you. And it, it doesn't, the, it, like I said before, it don't matter. It's not all, my, you know, I'm a traveler, but everything in life ain't about traveling. So it's just some, this is stuff that can help you in life. Travel Boy said, me too, man. I'm just happy you guys are alive with me. Once again, guys, please get a video like. Please share my videos, man. Make sure you guys share my videos. Give my videos a like. Share it on Instagram. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Especially my edited videos, the ones that, you know, they see me out and about and, you know, whatever country I'm in. Put them, do them videos, man. Put them videos out for me. Spread my videos, man. Uh, I just need your guys' support, man. Uh, Brandon Waters. That's like a cool name. Uh, Brandon Waters said, "Got got to cut off your finger to save your hand, Philly." <laughs> Yo, the rapper said that you got to cut off your finger to save your hands. Yeah, and I just try to keep my circle smaller. Uh, Rich's world. Shout out to Rich's world, man. He said Philly speaks food. Yeah, I speak food. That's my language. Matter of fact, I got some chicken and stuff I got to eat in the morning. Richard, once again, I'm on the couch, man. It's not it's not the, the famous couch like yours, but I'm staying with somebody from the channel, and I'm sleeping on the couch, my boy Derek. Once again, I'm on the couch, man. But he does have good Wi-Fi. I've been staying with him the last couple of days, man. He's been hosting me, man. So shout out to Derek Carter. He's been asleep for a long time. I hope he's all right. He usually gets up like in the nighttime and walk around and talk. Oh man, shout out to you, Rich. I saw the live you did with uh Jock Wilkins. Shout out to you and Jock Wilkins, man. Jock is monetized, man. He's doing his thing now. What's going on with you, Richard? How's everything going with you? When is my work coming to coming to America? When is my work coming coming to America? The travel boy said, That's why I'm blessed. Your travelers with with cash. When you help others, you help yourself. Yes, indeed, that is true. Travel boy said one hundred percent. Got the Philly shades on. Travel boy said I love the food. That food, yes, indeed. Clinton said he speaks chicken more so. Y'all speak chicken, Richard. I eat chicken a day, man. You know that. But it was bait, bait chicken. Travel boy said I can't do that. House life, my mom owns her house, but always sleeping on the couch. Yeah, I, I used to do that too, man. Had a house in uh, Mexico. I used to always sleep on the couch. It's just me, man. You know, whatever you feel comfortable at. Wherever you feel comfortable at. Richard Rose said, Jock's got lots of energy. Yes, indeed. And uh, what do you say? Positivity. My wish to be in New York in a few weeks. That's what's up, man. Shout out to my we're coming back to the states. He's coming back to he's coming to America. Coming back to America. My was coming back to America. Shout out to my man. The travel boy said I got raised and my time and a half is oh I got a raise and you saying your time and a half is crazy. I make like 26 to 30 an hour on OT man. Travel boy you 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 winning. 
even when you're losing, you're winning, man. You're winning, you're winning, you're winning, you're winning, you're winning. You're winning. And Travel Boy said, as pizza delivery boy. <laughs> That's what's up, man, Travel Boy. Then Ozzy said, coming to America. Yes, mine was coming to America. And then uh, Brandon Waters, man. Why, why are you telling a football player? Brandon Waters is the uh, quarterback for the Philadelphia Giants. <laughs> Brandon Waters' time and a half is crazy. I miss those days. And then uh, the Travel Boy said, shout out to Domino's Pizza. Yeah, shout out to Domino's Pizza, man. I got a fun fact for you. Did you know that Haiti, Haiti I think that's one of the free franchises that Haiti has, Domino's Pizza. Haiti has Domino's Pizza, man. A lot of people don't know that Haiti has a Domino's Pizza because Haiti doesn't really have any franchises. But one of the food franchises that are there is uh, Domino's Pizza. And guess what? It tastes like the Domino's Pizza in the States. Just a little brother. Brandon Waters said, I'm 6'4 Philly and I live in Mexico. I stick out like a, a sore thumb. That's what's up, man. Where you live in Mexico? What part of Mexico? Travel Boy said, free uh, franchises, free franchises in Haiti. Yes, indeed. Yeah, Domino's is the only ones that I know there that I that I would know the name. Obviously, they have a Marriott there. That's a franchise. But like out of fast food chains, uh, Domino's. Domino's. Shout out to Haiti, man. My prayers go out to Haiti. Haiti can't catch a break, man. It's one thing after another, one thing after another. The Travel Boy said, Brooklyn style pizza or pan is my favorite. Yummy, yummy. Brooklyn style pizza or pan is my favorite. Yummy, yummy. You guys are making me hungry. Just talking about all this pizza, you guys are making me hungry. Uh, oh, Brandon, what you leave next week? All right, that's what's up, man. Brandon Waters said, Haiti's been, yeah, they've been through hell, man. And high water's back. Haiti, we say, uh, Haiti's been through hell back and still here. That strength, yes, indeed, man. They always getting hit with something, man. Man, there's something always going on, man. Now, Richard, I saw you in one video, man, about the ranch, the bunny ranch. That was a good video, man, Richard. Uh, the travel boy said, gotta get the gut down. Is it that bad, guys? Is it that bad? What are you talking about? My gut or your gut or both of us got to get our guts down? What you saying, Sham? Talk to me. Talk to me, man. Talk to me. Once again, guys, please get a video like. And thank you for supporting your boy, Philly Dom, in any way you can. I greatly appreciate you guys. I appreciate your support. I thank you guys for everything. Uh, the Travel Boy said, oh, my gut, bro. I got one, too, man. Welcome to the Gut Club. I don't know if you can see it. Got a little gut there. John said, peace to God. Um, place your hands on Haiti's prayers up. Yes, indeed, man. Pray for Haiti, man. Vlog said, Philly Dom, how is it possible to get a normal girl in the DR? Um, that's a good question, Vlogs. Uh, that's a very good question. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. You got to date upper class um, Dominicans. That's how you get a normal girl. Not saying just because somebody's from poverty or, you know, not as financially stable that makes them, you know, into that type of lifestyle. But I think the higher up you date, the better quality a woman you'll get in the DR if you're looking to have a girlfriend here. Somebody that's a doctor, a lawyer, accountant, somebody that owns their business. How about somebody that has their own car in a house or their own car in an apartment that um that you know that they 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 go to a job, not they have all these nice things, you don't know how they have it, that they actually physically go to job. You just have to date up. I think the higher class you date in um the Dominican Republic, 
the more chance that the girl's not a worker. Because remember, the girls that work do it because they need money. But if you're making money, you don't have to go that route. You don't have to go that route. But, you know, it's not every every woman there is like that. So you, you still will always meet some women that are not into that lifestyle. So even the ones that don't have money. But a good tip for you if you're looking for a woman to date in the DR that's straight and not on to that lifestyle, my opinion, just my opinion, you want somebody to have a car or a house, you want somebody, they don't even have to have a car, but you want somebody, you want somebody that has a good job, doctor, lawyer, account, like I said. The more financially stable that person is in the DR, the more likely they're not going to be into that lifestyle. Because people that take, you know, you know, braces that lifestyles, people that are in need for money and stuff like that. Hope that could be helpful to you. Travel Boy said, doctor told me it would be problems in the future. Oh, he's talking about your gut? Yeah, you just got to trim it down, watch what you eat, man. Drink more water and stuff. Brandon Waters said, it's not really possible, though. Or an older woman. Yes. Or even older woman. You're right about that. Because the older women stop playing around, so they be more trying to, you know, be in a relationship. Clinton said, I remember people used to say Haiti was cursed. I know not true, but they've been through some stuff like they've been, okay, but they've been through stuff like a lot of poor countries. Yes, indeed. Haiti to the world, man. Travel Boy said, I've been doing jumping jacks, push-ups, mountain climbing, flutter, okay, kicks, crunches. And you got to change the diet. He said, burpees, yeah, burpees work, and dips. Just do little by little, man. Don't kill yourself and do it little by little. Then I just said, poor woman, don't got time to date <laughs> oh man brandon's water said most latin women bring nothing to the table yeah that's true the trap not all oh, no it's not true some do but when you're in a struggle you're in a struggle man you know what i mean can't really knock them for that uh travel boy said san salvador is the capital right yeah san salvador is the capital of el salvador and Brandon said, they, they have peanut butter, but no jelly, ham without sandwich slots, lame -o. Hold on for a second, guys. Let me turn the camera around. I'm trying to get some water real quick and get a napkin. Hold on so you can see where I'm at. You can follow your boy, Philly.
Ah, here we go. Yeah, guys. Nice crib. Thank you, man. Um, Lewis said, what's up, brother? You still love? I don't know if you operate that late. Now it's 127 a.m. in Portland, Oregon. Yeah, Brandon Ward said you got to look hard as hell because the relationship is 50-50. Partnership most will want you to do do whole 100%. Yeah, that's true. The travel boy said any beaches in the capital. Yeah, you can go to uh, Wandolio. You can go to Boca Chica. But I'm about to end this live, man. I'm going to talk to you guys a little later because um, my battery's dying, so I got to end the live. But we're going to talk a little later, man. <laughs>